Hi guys, so I'm always asked after a live um, webinar what tools do I use for live streaming. So I'm going to give you the live streaming software in this video and it's very simple and easy to use. There is a free version and obviously it goes up into a cost version depending on the functions and the features that you want. So first off, the tool is called StreamYard.com. And the pricing, obviously, you get a little bit cheaper if you go for the annual plan. Um, but the free version, anyone can use. It's got screen sharing, banners, on-screen comments, whatever it, <laughs> what is what everyone seems to enjoy. Up to six on-screen participants. Brand colours, green screen, stream anywhere. Um, obviously, the free version has StreamYard branding and streaming limits within there. Now, the basic version allows you to do unlimited streaming. It has no StreamYard branding. It's got overlays. You're allowed to add your logo, background. You can record up to four hours. You can multi-stream to three different destinations. So I could multi-stream to, um, <coughs> you know, Facebook, LinkedIn and, and YouTube, for example. Um, and the professional version, uh, which is 49 bucks a month, allows you to record up to eight hours, multi-stream to eight destinations, and it's full HD, along with all the overlays and everything else. And it's very simple and easy to use. So this is what I would tend to do. Um, obviously you can go into destinations, and you can put in all the various different destinations where you want to stream to, whether that be your Facebook, group, page, profile, LinkedIn, YouTube, and you can add in Twitch, Periscope, and all of that stuff. If you feel that, um, that that you know you want to stream to those destinations, so you've got a lot of different destinations that you can go to. Now this tool is so simple and easy to use. So I can go to any past broadcast, for example, and I record SEO tales, and I can go in here. I can download the recording and and send it off to my video editor or whatever. But to create a broadcast, you can either broadcast only to Facebook or to Facebook and YouTube. Just select Facebook and YouTube or any other variation. Or if you untick them all and click record only, you can just record something. So it doesn't have to be live. What it does is it gives you this live kind of place to go to so you can put your username in change your camera and all that stuff enter broadcast studio and it takes you here so you get a big blank screen and you've got me down here add to stream and it adds me to the camera now obviously you can go through the banners and you can have scrolling stuff going on you can custom add all this kind of stuff and um, you can remind people to like and subscribe to your channel you can do all of that stuff under banners. Um, it doesn't have to be a scrolling banner. You can um, just have something like, um, that coming up across the bottom, or you can have it scrolling if you tick that option. Um, now you go to brand, you can change the colors, the overlays, the logos, and all of that stuff. You can also private chat to the other people that are on with you. So if you're on a live webinar, you can sit here and message someone saying like, you know, five, you've got five minutes left or whatever. Um, and obviously in the comment section here, this pulls through the comments from YouTube, Facebook, wherever you may be talking to. And it puts them up so that it puts them up here and you can click on them, which then shows them on the screen. So that's very simple and easy to do. Um, and you know, if you wanted to start, you would simply just hit record and record now. And it comes up in the top left hand corner saying live. So we are live recording. It's not streaming anywhere, but within seconds, if I was streaming somewhere, income would come in the comments, people saying hello and various other bits and bobs. You do have some other settings here where you can uh, broadcast, um, high definition, you've got your camera settings, audio settings, 
Um, we would want to set the mic to that one. You've got green screen settings if you wanted. And you can, you know, have guests and stuff in here as well. So um, very simple and easy to use and cost effective as well. And uh, I think it looks quite nice when stuff comes up on the screen, you know, if people's questions come up on the screen or you have stuff like this scrolling along the channel. It just adds a little bit of professionalism to your live streams. So StreamYard.com is my go-to tool for live streaming. There are various other ones out there like Restream.io if you want to push out, I think, up to 30 different channels. But for me, the, the ones that I'm doing just now are enough for me to, to be working with. And as I say, it's it's a great tool. Can't speak highly enough of it. And uh, yeah, check it out. It is very, very cheap, simple and easy to use. They do have you know, good testimonials and uh, yeah, many other people are using it as well. So jump on the bandwagon while you can. 